I've been coming to the Beit Midrash to learn since I was quite a young boy. Since um, I was about 10 and a half. I've been coming to the Beit Midrash since I was pretty young. Since I was in year seven. Personally, I've been going to the Beit Midrash since I was quite young. I can't even remember how, how young. And uh, as I got older, I saw myself coming more often. And I really found the place where I could continue the process of learning and development. Everyone can come and it's open and there's so much variety of what goes on here. It's a very uh, effective environment in which to learn. A place where I can go um, when it suits me and when it fits into my schedule. It's sort of like a haven where you can come and be amongst like-minded people who um, value the same things that you value and it's just a place that, that feels familiar, a place that feels homely, a place that I'm really comfortable to be in. The Beit Midrash is an essential part of Mizrahi. Uh, as part of the Kolel Torah Metzion network, it occupies a unique place in Melbourne's Jewish community. The, the word Beit, home, is a very apt word to describe this place. You're surrounded by like-minded people. Uh, aspect of family, there's familiar faces I've seen over the years. It's also a pleasure to see people of all ages coming into the Beit Midrash. And there are fathers learning with their children, grandparents learning with their grandchildren. There's always really warm, welcoming people there that I can talk to and it feels like a really like nice environment to be in. Young people, old people, everybody feels comfortable here. Everyone coming together, everyone learning. It breaks down those social, age, and other barriers that might otherwise exist. Because of that, you kind of have this atmosphere in our Beit Midrash, which you don't see anywhere else in the world, really. I feel like I can just come to the Beit Midrash and it's a place for everyone. What has ultimately sustained the Jewish people through history is the study of Torah and those who support it. I mean, there's been, there's been questions of late, and it's not a new question, it's been questions facing the Jewish people throughout history. Of, you know, questions of continuity, you know. How could we guarantee religious survival? Especially when there's, you know, shifts and change, historic major changes in our generation, technological changes, and how are we gonna survive? And the answer is very simple, and it's the same answer we've been giving generation upon generation. It's when we grab hold of the Torah, we grab hold of Jewish learning as a source of our spiritual inspiration. The idea of learning Torah um, has, of course, its foundation at, at Har Sinai. And the Jewish people have always prided itself on being a literate people, a people who have learned and engaged with texts. Torah is the essence of our lives and it's the way that we can explore our duties. It's really what guides us in life and there's so much depth to the Torah that there is always something new to learn. So why here, why in this Beit Midrash? When I came back from Israel, the first thing I did this, there were plenty of other better places to learn. The Beit Midrash was really in its early days. I came and set up a makom right here, right in this Beit Midrash. Why? Because learning for our community is not something that's done over there. It's not something we so go and visit elsewhere or just out of curiosity we'll say, let it you know, punctuate our lives. Learning is at the core of our life in this community. I had to learn right here in the center to show that learning is part of our lives, lives. it permeates our lives. The Beit Midrash provides a learning experience similar to that enjoyed by our young people in Yeshivot and Midrashot in Israel. And it's therefore a natural place for them to continue their Torah learning when they return home to Melbourne. Your Torah learning doesn't have to end after you finish in Israel. It's a lifelong process and the Bet Midrash and the Midrashah here really helped me with that. And I know that from a lot of my friends that live in other places in the world, they don't have somewhere where they can go on a constant basis. The Bet Midrash also provides the younger people with um, a place to learn which is very different from any other learning experience they've had. There's more conversation, there's more interaction. And the Beit Midrash provides me with that environment where I enjoy actually learning about my Judaism and Torah. They can plan their own learning program in our Beit Midrash um, so that it's absolutely tailor-made to what they need, what they want at any particular time. So I think one of the really unique things about the Beit Midrash is that uh, it can 
comprises people who work during the day, who study during the day, and for whom largely uh, the hours that they're able to put into the study of Torah is limited. But the very fact that they can come at the end of the day of work or study and delve into Torah study just highlights how deep that connection is. The view, the perception that we have toward that learning is that this is the important part of my day, despite it only being a small part of my day. The Beit Midrash also takes women's learning seriously and through the Midrashah delivers a range of learning opportunities to women of all ages. It's very important for women to be able to learn. In other places, if a woman comes to learn, it's, oh, uh, let's make place, or it's a special time that a woman can come. Virtually every night of the week when you come in here, you will see um, girls learning, engaged in textual study. I really feel like in the Midrashah, there are absolutely no limits for women and for girls, and that's what I love about it. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm nine years old. I learn in the Beit Midrash because it's very fun and I like learning. I get to make a nice page and draw on it. Come to the Beit Midrash and learn because it's so much fun. Women are actually teaching women. Women are giving shurim. Women are leading shurim for each other. The shiur is tremendously stimulating. Things are brought out that I've never heard before. And I think everyone feels this. It is a place where women of all ages can come and feel that they are part of the conversation um, that entails Jewish learning. Another very special aspect of the Kolel Torah Metzion Beit Midrash is the involvement of the Hezde Bachorim. Uh, these young men uh, come to our community after having spent up to five years learning in Yeshiva and combining that with their army service in Israel. Uh, in choosing to spend uh, another year in our community, they provide a very special example to our young uh, men and women. They demonstrate a very high level of commitment to Torah and to Medina Israel. And when our young people go on Aliyah, one of uh, the sources of inspiration for them and continued support are the friends they've made with the Hezder Bachurim who've been here over the years, who have been a home away from home for them. And that provides, I think, a unique aspect to the Bakhmid Rush that can't be found in any other learning environment in Melbourne. One of my favourite times in, in the Midrash, in the Beit Midrash, is, is Thursday night. And Thursday night is really, if there is a night, Thursday night is the night at the Midrashah. Thursday night is really like the buzzing night in the Bet Midrash. We have an Akiva senior reward is usually on Thursday night, so we have lots of the Hanichim coming into the Bet Midrash. We have the Chabura, so it's Thursday night, the end of the uni week. And then after Mariv, there is one of, I think, one of the most beautiful parts of the Beit Midrash and the Midrashah's program. It's a casual sort of get together for young people um, for, that's called Chill and Trolland, which is organized by the Hesder boys. It's really, just, we have the Tvar Torah, but like, like 20, 30, 40 people come. The Midrashah room is packed and everyone's singing and talking and laughing and jerking around. And it's really such a positive atmosphere and there's a sense that this is not only a place of learning, but a place for young people to come together and to engage um, in meaningful conversation, in shira, in song, and in the joy of being part of a learning community. It was 1997, got a phone call out of the blue from my cousin Tommy Lamb, who was visiting Cape Town, and he saw a kollel, established there and said this was just what we needed in Melbourne. It took a year, the support of the Bachrach family, support of the Pinkers Fund, a lot of work uh, done by uh, myself and Peter Clute in the main, well supported by uh, Warren Zauer, by Paul Corball, by John Krause, Sam Siegel and others, and we got the show on the road. And now the Beit Midrash has gone Mechayel el -chayel. I remember the first time, probably 20 years ago now, when I worked into the Beit Midrash in Matan, and 
I looked around and I saw um, women learning together, Chavrotot, Marot Open, and the level of conversation. And I thought to myself at that time, you know, wow, I am, I'm really involved in a, in a revolution. This was done with the leadership of Mizrahi. It was done with the executive of Yavne College. It was done with support of uh, the academic staff of a, a Libli Yavne College. It was done together with B'nai Akiva. All working together has led to an invigoration of Torah learning, an invigoration of engagement in Minyanim, and has led to an increase in Aliyah as well. The Mizrahi Beit Midrash is just a place that uh, really is the lifeblood of the Mizrahi community. It's the heart of the community. It's not just individuals coming, but it's actually the community is building around the base Midrash and there's an actual support network of people that really, really believe it. It's a place that you can grow and the most amazing part about it is that whenever you come, you know you're going to leave with something else and with something added. It allows us to come together uh, and, and meet with one another on spiritual terms. No matter what age, no matter what religious background, no matter what learning level, there's no way that you can come to the Beit Midrash and not learn something new or not um, meet someone amazing or that something happens that changes you and it's a really special place. It's a place where people just want to go because I feel it. I enjoy it. And I want to be here because I know this is, this, this, this is life. <laughs>